let's review this particular problem here what we have is an alkyne and also an internal alkene which is undergoing a reaction with dicyclohexyl borane and in the second step it's undergoing reaction with a deuterated acetic acid and in the third step what we have is a reaction with NaOH in hydrogen peroxide so in the first step of the sequence, it is simple borylation. And we know there's an option. The reaction can go on triple bond as well as double bond. Since the triple bond is less substituted as compared to the double bond, and it is terminal as well. The borone will always attach itself to the least substituted position as a result of which this trans borane particular product is formed. Now, when we are using deuteritic acetic acid, net reduction of borone is happening. As a result of which, what we are forming is this trans product with deuterium here, and also this acetic acid borane derivative, which on treatment with sodium hydroxide and uh, H2O2, it's getting cleaved. So the correct option in this case for us is option number two.